Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Thanks everyone who subscribed to our YouTube channel so far. Today is going to be our official post for the very first YouTube giveaway that we've mentioned a couple times. We're going to be giving away this super rad knife from Nakagawa Satoshi. I've been kind of hinting at it a little bit there, so today is the official post. So I'm actually just gonna prep a little soup, talk about the knife, and then to win this knife, you have to subscribe to us on YouTube and make a comment below in the, in the comment section and just tell us the very first meal that you would prep with this knife. So without further ado, let's take a look at this knife. We just got in a few copies of this 240 millimeter Gyuto from Satoshi Nakagawa. Um, it's made with Jinsan steel or silver three, one of our favorite steels here at the shop. It's an all stainless steel. It has very similar properties to uh, white carbon number two, and uh, but it's rust resistant. So uh, we love it for that reason. It's uh, very uh, low maintenance, easy to sharpen, easy to raise a burr on. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm just gonna chop up some veggies and uh, tell you a little bit more about the maker and the knife. Just give the blade a quick little wash because I will be cooking this food for a soup that we will eat. So yeah, a lot of people ask how they should wash their knives at home too when they purchase a new knife and that's just it. We just use a soft sponge and we wipe the blade clean. I've just got a mild detergent in there, like Dove or Ivory or whatever, and some hot water. Wipe it clean and away you go. This is right out of the box, so we'll also just give a quick little straw before we start using it. This is our little Naniwa bench straw. I'm going to be using a few tools from the shop actually, so I'm going to also drop a link to those products down below so you can check them out. When we use a straw we always want to make sure that we're doing an edge trailing and not edge into the leather. These leather straps are from Naniwa and they work great at cleaning up any little micro burr. And my preferred way to hone a knife at home is leather strop. So yeah, this is a 240 millimeter Gyuto. It's kind of like what my, my preferred size of chef knife would be for working in a professional kitchen. 240, 250 around that range, 230. Um, we think that you have more leverage and you can do uh, more jobs with a longer knife, so that's what we like. I'm just going to chop up a couple carrots. The Gyuto is the Japanese knife maker's chef knife, and it's really like the quintessential workhorse knife. It's good for bush cuts, pull cuts, as well as rock chopping, if that's your jam. But, um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice knife. It's really beautifully done. This one is actually sharpened by Moriho, uh, one of the more well-known knife sharpeners out of Sakai. So it's a pretty special knife, and whoever wins this is a is a lucky lucky devil. So yeah, we'll just try out some uh, some rock chopping. Just some rough cuts because this is all going to get roasted for a soup. Try some push cuts and pretty awesome knife. 
I would love to own one of these. I think that's, this would be a really good workhorse knife for any professional and uh, just a stunning knife for any home cook. Put all our mise en place in some, some delis. Save that for stock. And today I'm chopping on our demo board, our demo larchwood cutting board. We love these boards, they're super easy on your knife. The way they're constructed with the grains popping up, they're uh, kind of acts as a shock absorber for your knife, so it's really easy on Japanese knives. These are made in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, not too far from our shop, probably about a two hour drive or so. So let's get into chopping onion. Chop up a little onion here. Now, sometimes you see people going like this. It's not really necessary if you're just doing rough chops for soup. Either way, it's just going to get all blended up in the end. So. our coon peeler to peel this squash. Yeah, so as I was mentioning before, Nakagawa Satoshi was working at, uh, working for Kenichi Shiraki, or Shiraki Himono for close to 16 years or 17 years, I believe. And uh, Shiraki, Kenichi Shiraki just retired earlier on this year and uh, Nakagawa has taken over the shop, purchased the shop and uh, now he uh, has started his own brand. So this knife is actually from his own brand. It's not forged for another knife brand. He does um, make knives for other companies like uh, one of our suppliers, Sakai Kikimori. Uh, and he works with the other knife suppliers as well around Sakai. Um, so yeah, so far it feels great. Just dice up this squash for a roast, for roasting. Feels nice and smooth. We're going to try to film lots of product videos too to, for references. So, hopefully, uh, those are will come in handy for you guys. I 
basically for knife care, like whenever I'm done chopping something, I always wipe my blade before I move on to the next, the next ingredient. Um, for carbon steel knives, this is a the best way to build up your patina. Is like always make sure you're wiping your blade, keep it nice and dry. Never want to walk away with food on your knife. Chop a little bit of garlic for our soup. Lots of people ask me if they can smash garlic with their Japanese knives. And I usually recommend that you don't do that, but if you are going to, then I usually recommend that you do it lower down towards the, the, um, the spine of the knife or the handle where it's a little bit thicker. I usually just press it lightly like that. It helps, it helps peel, helps me peel the garlic. But you definitely want to watch it. If you're smashing garlic, that's how you end up with a, a wonky blade. And I usually cut my garlic in half so it doesn't, so the flat side is down and uh, it's not wobbling all over the place. It makes it easier to dice. And I usually just dice it kind of like I would with an onion. And again, it's just rough chop anyways for soup, so. You can go this way too if you want, I guess. Doesn't really make a difference. It's gonna be just blended in the end. So, the reason why we say the Gyuto is the all the best all-purpose knife is because it's good for rock chop as well as that push-pull style chopping. They're usually pretty flat throughout this section. And then round it up to the tip. Actually cutting this style of cutting, push-pull style of chopping is much easier on your blade when you're moving the knife back and forth like this way whereas if you're rock chopping you're pivoting the edge and it could get caught in the cutting board and twist the edge as well so we usually try to tell people to push pull style of chopping as much as you can it'll save your edges We always try to avoid scraping a knife like this too. That's a really, that's a really uh, awesome way to dull your knife. If you're looking to dull your knife, scrape it like this. If you want to move food safely, use the spine of your knife. That's pretty much it there. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out. Um, beautiful grind on these knives. We still have a few copies after we give this away, one away. 
We love this knife. It's got a nice little uh, Kasumi finish along the blade path here. Nice defined Shinogi line. Should be beautiful to resharpen. Um, yeah, and whoever wins this, we always recommend that you uh, get yourself a ceramic honing rod or only hone this on a rod, a ceramic rod or a leather straw and sharpen this knife only on water stones. So we'll be announcing a winner down the road. We're going to leave the contest open for a few weeks, I think, just to gain uh, as many new followers as we can. And then after that, we're going to try and do some more uh, giveaways on YouTube and uh, keep the keep the the followers growing and try to provide you guys with some good content so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram like us on Facebook and check out our TikTok profile and yeah like I said I will link all the products that I just used in this little video below don't forget to comment if you want to win this knife.